potential methods for multi-robot coordination, including robust consensus, robust automation control, and vision-based feedback control. Multi-robot systems have emerged in the recent decade in a variety of settings and frameworks for various research goals, and have got exploratory applications in several application domains. A typical multi-robot system consists of multiple robots which can cooperate and communicate with each other to accomplish certain tasks collaboratively. Multi-robot systems are a class of complex large-scale systems consisting of the following key elements. Dynamics. What are the models that govern the behaviors of the robots? Sensing. How the robots measure properties of themselves and external environment. Communication. How robots communicate with each other and maintain connectivity. Control. How control laws can be designed to achieve desired performance. How the robot team make decisions intelligently. Compared with a single robot, a multi-robot system has many advantages, such as robustness and fault tolerance, increased system performance and efficiency, scalability, larger range of task domain, and uh, lower cost, etc. Supported by the recent advances in high-performance hardware and computational technologies, man-made multi-robot systems have been developed rapidly, presenting tremendous potentials and opportunities. Examples of such development include autonomous ground and aero vehicles, mobile manipulators, robot arms, and mobile robots. However, despite the high-performing uh, computing, communication, sensing, and the power devices used in these systems, their effectiveness in uncontrolled environments still falls far behind the natural systems, such as a swarm of ants, a flock of birds, or a team of wolves. In nature, some systems such as bird flocks, cattle herds, fish schools, or ant swarms, display certain group behaviors through local interactions among the individuals. In these natural systems, each individual agent makes its own decision. There may be some leaders in the group, but no one is going to tell all the others what to do. To bridge the gap, one promising method is to learn from nature and to design multi-robot systems. We may use multi-agent system theory to model a multi-robot system. A multi-agent system is assumed to have n agents. The set V has n numbers from 1 to n. Each of them refers to an agent, for example, a robot. Each agent has state variables and dynamics to describe its behavior. A function fi is defined to optimize the performance of the agent. The inter-agent communication information exchange or interactions among the agents can be modeled by graph theory. The concept of multi-agent systems has been widely applied in different fields and applications, including multi-robot systems, air traffic control, autonomous vehicles, smart grids, power systems, and smart buildings. The inter-agent communication is modeled as an information exchange graph, either undirected or directed. A graph can be used to represent it. The connection property of the graph can be described by an adjacent matrix A or Laplace matrix L. The reference information is only available to a subset of agents. Accessing to the reference is described 
than the matrix B. For this graph, as an example, where the reference information is only available to agent 1, the matrix is A and B can be defined as on the slide. As mentioned, multi-robot systems have a large range of task domain compared with a single robot, such as formation, rendezvous, coverage, task allocation, cooperative transportation, cooperative exploration, blocking, localization, and mapping, etc. In accomplishing these tasks, Quite a few challenges should be addressed, including autonomy, robustness, safety, security, etc. In this talk, we will address many robustness. The technical scope of multi robot systems may cover distributed algorithms, study of collective behaviors, control algorithm design and stability analysis, optimization methods, and analysis methods, etc. Behind those problems, one of the interesting questions is that how local interactions among the robots can determine the click behavior of the whole system. Actually, a multi-robot system is composed of a large number of robots who are capable of sensing, computation, communication, and actuation that allows their interactions and abilities to solve problems which are difficult or impossible for an individual robot. The figure gives an integrated multi-robot coordination model. The bottom physical space consists of many physical robots, and the top cyberspace describes the communication network among the robots. We can see that with the help of the sensor and the control networks, the manager in the monitoring and the control center can employ algorithms and techniques by using information from physical space over a communication network in cyberspace to make decisions and they impact the physical robots. Thus, the objective is to develop systematic methodologies to design and analyze cooperative strategies to control network multi-agent systems. Formation control is one of the important issues in multi-robot coordination. According to the formation configuration, there can be formation tracking control and the time varying formation control. The intuitive concept of formation control is to design a suitable controller so that the robots from, from the desired formation, which can be described by shapes, positions, distances, etc. In practice, disturbances and model uncertainties are very common for multi agent system applications, especially for underwater robots and uh, UAVs. For robot manipulators, there often exist parametric uncertainties in the models. This motivates the studies of robust formation control problems. We aim to address this question, how to design distributed algorithms to achieve formation control for networked multi-robot systems and uncertainties and disturbances. Consider first an ideal first order agent model where xi is the state and ui is the input for agent i. One formulation of the disturbances and uncertainties is to add two terms, fai and fbi, in the agent dynamics. The objective of this robust formation control problem is to design a distributed control law, ui such that the robots can achieve the desired formation configuration in the presence of disturbances and uncertainties. 
The formation control design that I will present is based on consensus methods. Consensus control design is one of the major research lines on multi-agent systems. For a team of agents, the objective of consensus control design is to enable the states of this team of agents reach an agreement. This plot shows the block diagram of a consensus control loop. Let's take the first order agent dynamics as the demonstration example. As shown in this block diagram, xi dot equal to ui represents the agent dynamics. The consensus protocol is designed using the local state xi, labeling state xj, and the connection graph information aij. As shown in the left column, for the consensus problem, the states of the agents agree on a constant value. For a more general consensus tracking problem, the states of the agents agree on a time varying given signal xd. As shown in the right column, consider disturbances and model uncertainties. A robust consensus tracking problem can be formulated. In the dynamics, FAI represents the disturbance and FBI represents the model uncertainty. The control goal is to design a robust consensus tracking protocol, UI, such that each agent's state, XI, tracks a desired signal, XD. The presence of disturbances and uncertainties makes this problem a bit more challenging. We developed an identifier based robust consensus tracking framework to solve this problem. In this identifier-based robust consensus tracking framework, step one is to design a learning identification strategy, that is, a distributed identifier to estimate the disturbances and uncertainties. In step two, the local states, the labeling information, and the identified information are leveraged to develop a robust consensus tracking protocol. The challenge of this design is to analyze and ensure the closed loop system stability. Consider the simple first order agent dynamics and undirected collection graph to show the design idea and the stability analysis strategy. The consensus tracking area is defined using the states of agents XI xj and the desired trajectory information xd and the graph information aij and bi next identifier is designed so that fi head can be used to estimate the disturbances and the model uncertainties based on the identified information a robust consensus tracking protocol for ui can be developed this design is obtained using the Lyapov based design method. To analyze the closed loop system stability, we used concatenated vectors X, U, EF, etc. to transfer the robust consensus tracking problem into a stabilization problem of the consensus tracking error vector EF. A filter tracking error R is designed to make the stability analysis easier to handle. Here, H should be a positive definite matrix so that the stabilization of R will guarantee the stabilization of EF. H, L, and B are determined by the graph topology. In the presence of disturbances and model uncertainties, the agent dynamics can be non-autonomous. Near plot-based analysis and 
and in various flex serial are used to analyze the stability. A layer flow function V that combines the graph information H and the identifier design is constructed. The design robust consensus tracking framework is extendable to address more general agent dynamics and graph topologies. For second order agent dynamics, the tracking error should be extended using all the available information, theta i and xi. With the change to the tracking error, the learning identification law can remain the same. The consensus tracking strategy can be designed in a similar way based on the stability analysis. With one more term, alpha times xi added in the control law. For undirected graph, the analysis is very similar, except that all the error information should be included in the near flow function for analysis. Based on robust consensus methods, we can define information control problems. For simplicity, here only first order model is considered. For the formation problem, xi dot equal to ui is the model. A controller is designed using the graph information aij, the state information xi, xj of agent i and the neighbors, and the formation information hij so that xi minus xj goes to hij. For the robust formation problem, the model has two more terms, the disturbance and unmodeled dynamics, respectively. In the controller design, a learning identification part is used to identify the disturbance and unmodeled dynamics. The development robust consensus tracking methods can be adapted to solve some robust consensus tracking and even robust formation control problems for multi robot systems. For example, rows with Euler Lagrange dynamics. For the network the Euler Lagrange system with N agents, the following is the robust consensus tracking problem statement. Design a distributed control law, tau i, such that the states qi and qi dot of multiple unknown Euler Lagrange systems reach a symmetric consensus and track a desired time variant trajectory, QD and QD dot. The control design idea is the same as shown in this schematic. Uh, first, a distributed identifier is designed to estimate the disturbance and the model SD. Then the local state, the labeling state, and uh, the identified information can be leveraged to develop a robust consensus tracking protocol. For undirected graph, uh, we propose the following control law, tau i. Here, qi is the derivative of the robot i's generalized coordinate. qd dot is giving information. EFI represents the consensus tracking error determined by QI, QJ, QD, and the graph information. FI hat is the state of the identifier, which is designed at the bottom of the slide. Beta T is a time very adaptive gain to remove the need for unknown bounds of the uncertainties. Here's a quick summary for the first part. An identifier based control method was developed that can achieve robust consensus tracking for several types of multi agent systems. The proposed design and analysis method can be adopted to address robotic formation control problems. One challenge for future work how to bridge the gap between cooperative control theory and the practical application requirements. In part one of the talk, I presented several control problems and methods, how to get the measurements for feedback for multi-robot system. Vision 
can be one method. Vision-based control is about using image data in feedback control of moving agents. For example, robot manipulators, mobile robots, and unmanned vehicles, etc. This figure shows the structure of a vision-based control system. The control object can be a robot. A camera is used to capture the images of the control object or its environment. The image processing algorithm module is used to extract useful information from the images. Once feature points are extracted from an image, estimation and geometry construction algorithms can then be used to estimate the state of the control object, build a 3D model of its environment, and estimate the geometric relationship between the object and the environment. Based on extracted useful information of the control object and its environment, a controller is designed to control the object. This system structure is very flexible. Other sensors, such as GPS, laser, IMU, can be combined in this structure easily. For vision-based multi-robot systems, there are several extra challenges, including cooperative processing of a large amount of vision information, cooperative localization and estimation, optimization of the robot network's abilities in localization and sensing, and limited resources, including power, communication, and computing cap uh, capacities. Next, I will show several trials of experiments for multi robot formation using vision. These experiments are still at the baby stage. There are still a lot of R&D to be done to make vision-based multi robot systems more useful. Three P. Uh, P380 robots with non-holomic robot models are used in this experiment. A leader follow controller is designed for multiple non-holomic robots with camera sensor constraints based on leader follow strategies. This experiment uh, is for two followers and uh, one leader. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thanks again to Nick and Kavi for organizing this workshop. It is good to meet all the friends here. Well, it is hard to travel now.